uh, al-wazir to convey the greetings um, and the warm mess messages from uh, their highnesses, his highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed al Nahyan, the president of the UAE, as well as uh, his brother Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid al Maktoum, the vice president, the prime minister, the ruler of Dubai. Both of them are sending their brother, his excellency, the president of Zimbabwe, their warm greetings. They're also passing another message, which is the UAE is there for Zimbabwe, especially when it comes to government experience exchange programs. This is what we're doing right now for three days here. We're working together with our brothers and sisters in the government of Zimbabwe uh, in knowledge transfer. So there are 10 work streams that we have as of now that we decided to focus on. The blessing came from both leadership in both countries, and we will be pursuing this partnership. Further. And looking at these areas that you are discussing and deliberating during the workshop, how will you let enhance oh, your knowledge transfer to Zimbabwe in the development agenda? So uh, these work streams are meant to be felt and experienced by the average citizen on the street. No matter what we do as government workers and civil servants, if, it, if the, what we do does not reach the citizens, there is no point. So the work streams will ensure that there will be quality services offered uh, to the uh, citizens and there will be some attractive packages offered also to the businesses in, uh, in the country. The areas which we will focus on is about accelerating some of the initiatives that we will be working with our friends here in Zimbabwe which will result in uh, better services to the community across sectors such as education, health, infrastructure, energy and so on. We will also ensure not only the quality of the services but the speed of service given the time it takes, the number of procedures that any, gov any citizen has to go through will be minimized. And this is the ultimate goal, is that out of this uh, program and exercise that we're sharing with our brothers and sisters here, everyone will feel the improvement and the transformation. One area which is very key for us is digitization. Moving from a paper-driven society like we did in the UAE and we still have into a paperless society, how we can use technology to enable citizens and businesses to, to grow and to prosper in the best way possible. All right, and maybe last year, how have you found Zimbabwe so far? Oh, gorgeous, gorgeous. The minute you land in this beautiful country, immediately you're uh, experiencing smiles, you're experiencing positive vibe, you're experiencing uh, energy, and there is a lot of enthusiasm. You can see it in the faces of the people, whether uh, in the airport or beyond, even on the street. So I look forward to spending more time in my next visit so that I see what we can do together. It's, it's about government exchange program. So there are things that we will be passing to Zimbabwe, but we are also looking forward to learning from Zimbabwe, especially in the areas of, for example, agriculture is an amazing sector where you achieve sustainability, you achieve self-sufficiency, you achieve food security. So there are lots of areas that we will also learn from this gorgeous country. Thank you. Thank you so much.